Alright, so now we're going to do part two, proofs using sum notation. The advantage of the using sum notation is that we get the proof in general for all the appropriate kinds of matrices that each of these theorems should hold for. So before we can do the proofs using sum notation, we need to write down the definitions that we can use in order to do our proofs. So let's recall, review, first our sum notations. The first is that we had here in the previous lesson that when you multiply matrices, we have this up here on the upper left here is our definition for what the product looks like. So I'm just going to write that A times B typical entry IK is being the sum from J equal 1 to M of the matrix A, I, J, B, J, K. So again, the counter I'm going to do in red, just to really emphasize it, the counter J equals 1 to M, A, I, J, B, J, K is because we're going across the row of A, across the row of A, and down the column of B. Okay, so that's what's happening. That's what our counter is doing. So we're going to have our matrix A. I'm going to just draw in a purple for a second. Our matrix A. We're going to go across the ith row of A. Ith row of A. What is the ith row of A? It is A. I'm going to give us a little more space so I can write this. The ith row of A is AI1, AI2, up to AI2. M, that's our ith row of A, and its counter, we're going across the ith row, the counter is 1, 2, up to M, that's the J's, and then we're going to go down, we're going to go down the kth column of B. So going down the kth column of B, kth column of B means it's B 1K, B 2K, up to B M K, and the counter, which we are marking in red, is this entry, the first row of B, second up to Mth, okay? So we're taking the ith row of A and we're dot producting it with the kth column of B. That's what we're doing. And I made B blue here. Fine, then we should just have some extra notations here. Let's make this green going all around them. And we're taking the dot product of these two guys. And I just want to emphasize. Okay, so everything's emphasized. I think we have everything that we need to know about the product of two matrices written in some notation. And the other thing we need is the definition of matrix addition, which is right here. So if I wanted to add two matrices, that's simpler. A plus B I K, when you add them, is just the ith entry. It's just A's I K entry plus B's I K entry, which is really the same as writing little a i k and little b i k. All right, so that's for addition. So this is definition addition, which is easy. And up here we have the review of the definition of multiplication with sums. And we're going to use these two definitions in order to do our, our theorems now. So let's put the theorems back here. All right, so we're going to use these, these definitions for these theorems. So this is for part two. Now, to actually do the theorems, let's just start with doing something like the distribution of matrix multiplication over addition. So I just want to focus again on that exact one theorem, distribution of matrix multiplication over addition. I want to do that in the next video so I have time to copy it over and write it a little bit neater and then we'll do it, okay?